What's up, everybody? It's the Raw Truth coming back with part three. And you know, like I like I'm saying, you know, to reiterate uh, some of the points that I that I've been making, you know, welfare actually is is them giving our shit back to us, and we got to stop looking at them as oh, they just this hero. The, the, this nice people that just doing this for me when they should be doing that S- some some may give you money just just because out of guilt but the vast majority of white people when when they're looking at you you know they don't really respect you they're trying they're you know and they're going to be using more games of trying to be nice to us and stuff to learn how to live during the time of this crisis that is coming and is coming and is going to hit United States of America hard. Woo! It's going to hit United States of America hard. If you don't believe me, look overseas. Look in Europe. For goodness sakes, look at fucking Europe. Europe, Europe is bankrupt. Austerity is high. People are giving up hope in Europe. Just like the United States of America. Some people is giving up and the when the ones who actually studies the news and knows what the go what's going on. They're getting prepared for underground bunkers. They're getting prepared for a mass slaughter and shit like that. But we want to worry about, oh, but black people's more, by percentage is more on welfare than white people. I'm going to save this and I'm going to shock and stun everybody. We don't have not one person on welfare. No, white people, you stole from us. See, when you stole from us, you were giving this shit to us, that was ours in the first motherfucking place. So I declare right now, you're hearing it from the raw truth, we have absolutely no one on welfare. No one on welfare. You white people who's on welfare, why don't you pull yourself up from your own bootstrings, huh? How about that, white people? Why don't you do that? See y'all suffering like y'all like 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 we suffering. It sucks, don't it? <laughs> I laughed like crazy when I was seen uh, a couple years ago when folks was losing their their pensions and shit and their four hundred one k, and I seen all kind of white people just crying. White people talk about how dare the government do that? This is America. Do you not understand? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you not fucking understand whenever you say this is America, for some reason your fucking ass have forgot how the fuck America came into existence. So y'all can sit up there and have your 4th of July, which don't, which don't mean a damn thing to me, because my people was in captivity, still is. Y'all go out there and have your Thanksgiving dinner and you fuckers, you black and Hispanics, you Native American Indians, anybody who is celebrating Thanksgiving, you ought to be smacked upside your goddamn head because that Thanksgiving that they celebrate was a dinner, uh, was a dinner uh, celebrating the slaughtering of you. But yet, black people's on welfare, right? <laughs> when are we going to wake the fuck up and stop glorifying this uh, this system? When are we going to wake the fuck up? Like I said before, Europe is in trouble. Things is going to hit United States of America hard. And a lot of people don't want to prepare for it. A lot of people who are very, very smart and understand the dollar and understand everything, you know, when it comes to politics and stuff, and those who are not biased and understands it, know something big is going to happen in America. 
And it's going to be scary. It's not only going to be scary for you white people, but you black women too. It's going to be super scary for y'all. Because here's what you have to understand. The so-called welfare for us is, is not going to be around forever. Which means black woman, your fucking asses better start making some wise decision. Because you don't want to get caught out there with six or eight children by different by, by different pookies and ray rays. Because when this austerity hits the United States of America hard, you women, you whores, you bedwinches are going to have a hard problem. A hard time problem because that's when every single nation is going to go back to their own nation. And start fending for their own nation. And where did that leave you? Black woman. Just like Rick Scorpio said. Out on your ass. Because it was white supremacy. Who popped you up anyway. It was white supremacy. Who used the so called welfare. And rewarded you for being so fucking wicked. It was a white supremacy system. That helped put your man in prison. Uh, I mean excuse me. In jail. Because of child support. Which is by fraud. Anybody getting arrested for child support. According to the constitution. A debt you cannot be arrested for no debt. What I advise my brothers to do. and um, I'm reaching out to folks who have. Who knows about law and stuff like that. And. I want to put videos on my channel. Their videos on my channel and stuff. And I want to uh, do interviews and shit like that. And get a law thing going on before they take the constitution down. Because that's next to go down. All the amending that they doing. <laughs> it's just funny. But uh, people want to talk about welfare. <clears throat> like I said. Nobody. None of my people is on welfare. All that shit was owed to us. Hell, we paying for water that's free. Imagine that. You go in you go in the forest and you see a tree. You chop that tree down, you can build your own house. There's plenty of rocks are out there and stuff. We're paying for things that are free. And the and to add insult to fucking injury. And I dare not want to miss this out. This land was fucking stolen. So all the resources were ours anyway. How can you charge somebody any kind of money or any kind of rent on land that was theirs? I, will, I really want my people to understand and wake the fuck up. Really, really wake the fuck up. Because when it's all said and done, the only ones that's going to be around is us. So when you see somebody uh, who is our people on welfare, don't make fun of them. That's ours. It's supposed to be ours. Well, you can't get nothing for free. Well, then get the fuck out of America then. Remember how you, how, you, how they always told us, oh, go back to Africa. You don't like it here, go back to Africa. No, motherfuckers. This was never your land in the first place. They talk about it's a Christian nation when the Bible says, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet another man's property. Wow. Could somebody please... Please tell me, how was America built out of Christian morals? Shit like this gets me mad and, and it pisses me off. I say you may see a little delay because, you know, <laughs> because I'm telling you, man, because I, I'm just thinking like crazy and I just felt. And my heart to do this shit. To do this, this video. And I only wanted to do one part. 
just do maybe 15 minutes but the more the more I'm starting to see this shit you know uh, how much we were raped robbed and murdered and had our stuff stolen from us and shit and now they're giving it back to us and calling it fucking welfare that just insulted my fucking ass even more and it gets me angry when I hear about that shit oh we give you welfare now you ain't giving me shit motherfucker let me tell you crackers something. You ain't giving me shit. You're giving me my shit that you stole from uh, from me. I ain't stole nothing from you. Your father did and you're in possession of stolen property. Oh dear gosh. Did I just quote your law? Ain't that what they do to us? Ain't that what they do to us? We, we, we riding in the car with a bunch of brothers. You know as they call them a bunch of niggas. Three of them have cocaine in it. I'm guilty by associate. Why? Because even though I don't have it, I'm guilty because I'm in her company. Well, white people, don't you feel guilty? <laughs> You're in possession of stolen property. Man, oh man, oh man. You are in possession of stolen property. See, if my own brothers, my black and Hispanic brothers and sisters, if they do something nice for me, that means a whole heck of a lot. You know why it means a whole heck of a lot? I'm going to tell you why it means a, a whole heck of a lot. Because that's, that's love right there. But when white people does something for me, it's different. And white people, I know you're going to be offended. But I don't give a damn. I tell it the way it is. Don't like it? Fuck you. Unsubscribe. Uh, thumbs down the video. And keep it moving. But when you white people do something nice for me. It's owed to me. It's owed. I have a self, not a self entitlement issue. I'm entitled to be treated nice. I didn't forget about the, the covenant of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The God tell Abraham, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. That inheritance you can never steal from me. So I'm, I'm entitled for y'all to do nice things for me. So when you do nice things for me, you hook me up with some money, or you know what I'm saying, or just buy a bag of groceries for me or something like that, you're supposed to do that. God will bless those who bless me and curse those who curse me. Which is why your economy is done. Because you cursed God's people. You cursed us. Y'all rape, robbed, and murdered us. So your economy is going down. Black and Hispanics, whenever you see anybody in this land that's not indigenous to this land who was not over here first rolling with us if you see them homeless in the streets you see them uh, you see them having a hard time don't feel sorry for them don't feel sorry for them because pretty soon every nation who have done us wrong is going to reap that same thing I remember Roger Spice and shout, shouts out to you, Roger Spice. He said something that I love. And he said, Unity time. Well, Roger Spice, you're right. It's time for blacks and Hispanics to come together and start looking out for one another. Because, um,. I'm still putting the finishing touches on this gang stuff. I'm not going to go deeply involved as far as the history of every single gang. Because that's going to take at least 500 videos itself. But I notice a common thread when it comes to the black and Hispanic gangs. I'm going to... Um, uh, uh, expose, you know, why they came to be the reason and why the people that they love that they become the oppressor because they want to join in a reindeer's game with the white man. 
So there's a whole lot of things I gotta break down though. But the gang series is coming is is gonna it's coming soon. Coming to a YouTube theater near you. <laughs> But let me know how you feel about it. Do you think that I'm I'm wrong? Or do you think I'm dumb as fuck, a retarded ass? Because I say that none of our people is on welfare because that shit's act is actually owed to us. Do you think I'm fucking out of my mind, or do you think I have a point? Think about it for real. Think about it. Because see, I could demonstrate it. Give me your address. I'll come to your home and I steal everything in it. <laughs> and then I'll put it in storage Let it stay there for two years Then come back to you And give you shit Talk about man say thank you <laughs> Shit <laughs> I'll come showing up On one of your <laughs> One of your motherfucking doorsteps Y'all gonna have a bullet between my eyes Like nigga get out of here <laughs> you, You're the raw truth Now you're raw dead <laughs> But yeah, I'm 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 excited. You know, I, I want to hear, I want to hear what y'all have to say. You no, know, for real. I know I say that a lot, but I don't see too many people commenting. I may see 78 views on one of my videos, but no comments. It's like how the fuck that happens. But see, that's that's what we're lacking as a race of blacks and Hispanics. We don't like to communicate. But we want shit to be done. So how the fuck can shit be done if we don't communicate? Uh, a couple of my videos was inspired off of communication. Yeah. So if we don't communicate, then how the fuck do we know where we're going? So Roger Spice, you're right. It's unity time. Come back, let's conversate and let's talk. Let's get this shit rolling. For real. Till then. I'm the raw truth. Send your feedback. Like, subscribe. Uh, and share my videos too. I got 99 subscribers. So far. Uh, and I want all 99 of my subscribers. Who are no 10 people. And have them all subscribe. All 99 of y'all. Matter of fact, that's going to be a challenge. I want to see if each and every single one of my subscribers can at least bring 10, 10 other subscribers. I want to get these views out. Because there's a lot more things that I got to say. A lot more things. I got so much materials. I mean, even when I think of something, I'm going to put it in a video. Just to see what you, just to see what anybody says. You know what anybody's feedback is. So. There you have it. I'm the raw truth. Till then. Peace.